Yes, welcome back to the channel. What a beautiful morning it is. And all of these poor geese think I'm here with bread to feed them. Well, sadly I'm not. But what I am with is my mode of transport today. This is called a, I don't know how you pronounce it, a Niu, a Niu. I'll have to work that one out. But I've been lent this for a couple of weeks and I've been itching to get out on it because it doesn't have an engine. It's the first electronically powered motorcycle, or in this case, a scooter, that I've actually ridden. And I've got to say, I've ridden it so far two miles down the road and it is quite the odd sensation. But look, let me jump aboard because I guess you've clicked on this particular video uh, for... The title but we will touch on that very shortly so let's get this thing going so we're an e-save at the moment it's all powered up and I have a little bit of anxiety because I have not charged it yet it's got 64% of battery power uh, how do we go oh yeah no it's, that's good so e-save let's go oh no are we on oh no we've got to press this See, it's odd because you don't obviously know if it's switched on or not because it's not making any noise. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's so weird pulling away and there's absolutely zero noises going on. All I can hear is a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of tire noise and uh, some wind. The only thing with this, right, is in eSave, I've discovered that it will max out at like 15 miles per hour. And so you have to hit this button here. Oh, then it takes off a bit because it's gone into dynamic mode. So I think you you get a bit of extra power. It tells you what kilowatts you're using. I'm sure you can see all that. I hope you can. It's a bit of a dirty screen. A bit of a, a bit of an icy screen actually. Uh, so yeah, we're doing about 30 miles an hour, which isn't too bad. I guess we're going up a slight hill. And then you can snap it in sport and then it picks up more speed and to be honest so far I think you just want to keep it in sport all of the time I already dropped down another percentage of the battery 63% and get this listen to the indicators <laughs> listen to the indicators can you hear that? <laughs> oh, it's funny as Pull out here, da, 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 da. yeah, hey, and we are grooving. We're on route with no destination in mind. I just want to have a chat with you guys. But I'm just going about quick enough to overtake this cyclist. <laughs> and it actually feels oddly satisfying that I'm that I'm going along here, and it's like it's, it's not really costing me anything. I know I've been lent this right to test ride, but because it's not using fuel. It feels like I'm getting around for free. Pretty snazzy. It seems well built, robust, quite like sturdy. And it's got a little bit of go in it. I mean, if you whack it in sport, it has got a bit of a tug to it, but yeah, it's not gonna obviously rip your arms out of your sockets. Oh, it's a bit icy, isn't it? Yeah, so check this out, right? Look at the size of this battery. <laughs> it's like the battery out of a uh, diesel lorry, isn't it? But listen, let's talk about the title to this YouTube video. All right, am I going to be quitting YouTube? No, I'm not, actually. Do you know what? I'm just getting started. <laughs> No, but look, I had to put out that clickbait title because I put out a community post recently and the amount of messages I had and the response I received from that particular post was unbelievable. It made me realize how lucky I am to have so many of you follow me and watch this channel of mine. Over 30,000 subscribers, which is just bonkers to think, right? But I did recognize that something had to change on this channel. I was, put, I was putting out a lot of content and I felt that the content that I was putting out was stuff that you guys wanted to see. Granted, a lot of the content that I've been doing recently have been motorcycle reviews. I recognise that. But I'm here to tell you that 
there's going to be a lot happening on this channel this year and I am ever so excited and what I'm going to do is kind of share an insight into what I have planned and so I'm pleased to announce that I will be doing a bike build this year. That's probably going to be the single biggest thing on this channel. I'm actually in discussions right this moment with a particular bike. I know what I want to get for the channel. It's not going to be something too boring. It's going to be something quite special. I'll say that. Also, I recognize that I don't do much on my own bikes. So I need to get more, I need to get out more on my S1000R as well as my Tenere. So I'm going to be doing some random excursions, shall we say. I'm going to do a little bit of camping too. And also I want to do a meet up with you guys as well. I want to meet, I want to meet all of you really. And so I'm going to be organizing those in this coming year. So look out for that. Oh, and I also want to do a track day on the S1000R or even let's say on the bike that I, that I build. But look, I just want to make this video as short and as sweet as possible because I just want to recognize that you're all so, you all mean so much to me and I appreciate each and every one of you. There's some real loyal subscribers on my channel. You know who you are and you make all the difference. Oh. Uh, but yeah, look, I just want to say thank you so much. There's going to be so many cool things coming up this year. I cannot wait. Motorcycle reviews will continue, uh, but I'm going to obviously mix up the channel, okay? I'm going to come back, take a step back from doing back-to-back -back reviews and I'm going to give you some more of the content that you really want and what you deserve. But yeah, listen, I'm not going to keep waffling on. As I said, I want to make this short and sweet. Hope you guys stick around. Um, as I say, it's going to be an exciting year and I look forward to it ever so much. It's going to be hard work, but it's going to be so much worth it. So yeah, with that said, I'm going to end the motor vlog here and I hope to see you all on another one very soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.